Hello, uh, thank you all for joining us today. Uh, welcome to the Associate Students Candidate Forum. Uh, this forum is being hosted by the Corsair, Santa Monica College's student-run news publication. Uh, this forum has been hosted a few years by us, but this is the first year we are conducting it virtually. So thank you all for attending. I want to thank all the candidates who are able to join with us tonight. Uh, we did invite every candidate who is running for an AS position, um, but those you see in attendance tonight were those who were able to attend today. Uh, this forum is also being recorded and you will be able to watch uh, the forum afterwards on our Coursera's YouTube channel. Uh, so a few of the rules to go over is each candidate will be given one minute to answer each question. Once that minute is up, they will be given a few seconds of grace period um, to answer each question or to finish answering the question. And then once that is up, they will be muted. I'm Carolyn Burt, by the way, I'm the editor in chief for the Coursera. Um, and so I will be the one moderating this event. So with that said, we are going to get started. So the first thing we're gonna have each candidate do is share their name, their major, the position that they're running for and why they are running for that position. So to get things started, we are gonna start with Ali who is running for a uh, student trustee. Hello, uh, my name is Ali Shervani, he, him. Uh, I'm currently undecided by my major, uh, but I intend on, um, deciding on it in the unprecedented future. Uh, the position I'm running for is student trustee. And my goals as a student trustee is to ensure a safe and assured environment at SMC, um, as well as working with the student body and administration at SMC in order to make this happen or further enhance the community as it is or um, establish somewhat of a reform. Thank you. Great, thank you so much. So the next uh, candidate we are gonna have answer that question is Felix, who is running for secretary. Hi, I'm Felix. Um, uh, also my Chinese name is uh, Wei Andrew. Um, I'm running for the uh, position uh, in SMC uh, AS, uh, which is the secretary. Uh, my major is political science and uh, Japanese. Um, I have benefited my previous experience in SMC CISA, which is a Chinese Student and Scholars Association, and the uh, SMC GSC, which is the uh, Japanese Student Association. As a secretary, um, I'm still uh, assisting the PDK secretary to complete the meeting uh, notes and so on. So I believe I will do very well in this position. Um, thank you for your coming today. It's glad to see you all here. Thank you. Great, thank you so much. Uh, the next person is David, who is running for AS Director of Budget Management. Hi, my name is David. I'm a first year student at SMC and my major is in economics. Therefore, I decided to run for uh, budget management. My goal is to increase efficiency of the budget as well as getting all clubs to write funding for the allocation and funding so that uh, students can enjoy and make better use of creating activities also which promotes the welfare the general welfare thanks great thank you um next we have melissa who is running for as director of student outreach hi everybody my name is melissa martinez my major is chicano and chicana studies i'm running for directors of student outreach and i believe i've had a leadership experience in the past and i want to bring that into AS and I want to um, promote the resources that a that AS offers right now and and build other resources that the students need. Thank you. Great, thank you. Um, next, we have Amalia, who is running for uh, AS Director of Student Activities, or no, I've, uh, Activities. Hi, my name is Amalia Tame and um, um, like you said, I'm running for director of um, activities and my uh, major is zoology. Um, one of the reasons why I want to be um, running in this position is to have an increase in inclusivity and then also just to have the student body be more a part of um, club activities and be more involved in programs and other such things because I feel like it just brings the community closer and then it just helps with um, allowing people to find more information about what they wanna do. Um, their education, and then also just like long-term friends and long-term um, relationships. 
Great, thank you. Um, next, we have Juliana, who is also running for AS Director of Activities. Hi, everyone. I'm Juliana de Paula. I'm an international student originally from Brazil, and I'm running for this position because I'm an immigrant in California, and I understand how important it is to bring our SMC community closer together, regardless of the different backgrounds that we have. And that will be my goal, to bring the SMC community even closer, promoting many innovative events at SMC, because I think that our college experience should be more than just exams and homework. And I think especially with the pandemic, I feel like that our community has to be closer now more than ever. So that will be my duty to help and coordinate amazing events for everyone on campus. So thank you so much. Great. Uh, next, we have Alejandro, who is running for AS Director of Publicity. Hi everyone, my name is Alejandro Canas and I'm running for the position of Director of Publicity. My major is communication and one of the reasons that I'm running for the Director of Publicity is because I want to change the, the way we use the networking between the students. I want to make it more diverse and I want that everyone, every, every single student can benefit and can uh, be more helpful about this, uh, this tool of resource that we have. Thank you. Uh, next, we also have Miguel, who is also running for AS Director of Publicity. Hello, everyone. My name is Miguel Jimenez. As mentioned, I'm running for the Director of Publicity. My current experience is being the Design Lead Commissioner for the current D AS Director of Publicity. With that position, I've been able to communicate uh, student privacy concerns uh, in terms of Proctorio. Uh, share their experience and encourage them to sign a survey. Alongside this semester, I've been able to provide information for the current AES elections prior to my uh, decision to run. So I've been able to strategize and create content for social media accounts, uh, which has been shared throughout the entire uh, SMC social media program. Additionally, I'm also the director of social media um, as the peer navigator program. From there, I, we've been able to focus on communication in terms of uh, building relationships from students Thanks to students. So well, your minute's up. All right. And then finally, we have Alexandra, who is running for AS Director of Sustainability. Hi, I'm Alexandra Schock. Um, I'm a cognitive science major, and um, I'm running for AS Director of Sustainability. I've been a lifelong, lifelong advocate of sustainability practices and as the AS Director of Sustainability, I hope to further sustainability outreach to students so they can do more on and off campus. And I hope to work with the sustainability committees to continue to reduce um, pollution, waste, and toxic chemicals on campus and in our daily lives. So thank you. Great. So the next question we have is, um, what made you want to run for the position that you are running for? So we're gonna go ahead and start with Ali for this one. Um, my, oh, sorry. Let me turn my video. Um, so the, the position I'm running for is student trustee. Uh, my goal as a student trustee is to ensure that everyone has, um, a safe space and the community stays in a in a way where everyone feels welcomed and um, I want to work with the student body and the administration to ensure that this happens. Uh, whether it be through reforming or um, adjusting the system in a way that makes the person feel more safe, I want to ensure that it happens and as a student trustee, I believe that. Um, this, this can. Great. Thank you so much. Uh, moving on to Felix, what made you want to run for the position that you're running for? Um, I'm running for the secretary. So as we all know, due to the epidemic, there are uh, lots of uh, international students around me, but um, they uh, didn't familiar with the policy and the clubs of the school. Um, so um, I want to bring like a more poss uh, possibility for the AS and give more uh, voice and uh, international students through my petition. 
Um, so that um, they uh, have a different and immersive college life in the current epidemic. So therefore, I want to improve this situation through uh, becoming the AS secretary. Thank you. Great, thank you so much. Moving along to uh, David, what made you want to run for AS director of budget uh, management? I want to bring like a more pos uh, possibility for the AS and give more uh, voice and an international student through my petition. Uh, Sorry, I, I heard an echo. Um, so I'm running for <laughs> budget management because uh, currently I want to pursue an investment banking further from my college experience. And I believe that leadership comes from experience. And therefore, if I do partake and kind of build more experience regarding on finance and being able to help um, the finance like the budget side of our school then I believe that it'll be I'll be a better leader to help the students and I believe that the SMC community does a really good job of already budgeting and allocating the right funds and I want to be involved in that space um, and continue on supporting um, students thanks great thank you all right moving along to Melissa what made you want to run for AS director of student outreach Hi again. Um, so I want to I want to run for outreach because um, AS has so many resources that many people don't take advantage of or don't know that there are. And I feel like I I love SMC because I've taken uh, advantage of a lot of opportunities. They have given me a lot of workshops, a lot of a lot of clubs, a lot of programs, special programs they have. And I feel like some students don't know that these programs exist and they could take advantage of, and they're there to support the students. So I feel like promoting those um, those those resources that are already there and making new resources that could help out the students. The pandemic has hit really hard to many people in low income. So I wanna provide more resources for them. Thank you. Great, thank you. And we also have Kamiko who has just joined us, who is running for AS Director of Student Advocacy. So Kamiko, what made you want to run for the position of Student Director of AS, or AS Director of Student Advocacy? Kamiko, you're muted. I don't know if you're on the call still. Hi, my name is Kamiko Greenwood and I'm running for AS Director of Advocacy. My goal is to aid in student success and ensure students' voices are not only heard, but implemented at Santa Monica College and knock down any barriers that are preventing students from success, such as proctorial. I've been really instrumental in the campaign against proctorial and trying to remove it. So that's what I really, um, my goal is to continue to aid in student success and knock down anything that's preventing that. Great, thank you so much. Next, next we have Amalia who is running for AS Director of Activities. So Amalia, what made you want to run for that position? Hi, um, so what made me want to run for this position was the fact that um, being um, Director of Activities comes a lot with um, being involved in the sense of like giving a place, a safe space and like also a place for student involvement. So for me personally, when I first came to SMC, um, I thought I wasn't gonna be involved with anyone. Like I didn't have any friends really, except for like people I knew. I wasn't making like any new friends or like doing anything. But once I started joining like clubs and started like joining the events that AS would have on campus, I started to make new friends. I started to have relationships. I started to get new knowledge and more information about how to do certain things. And I feel like without that experience, I would have had no community. And um, since the quarantine has started, I feel like it's even more prone to get a lot of students involved and get them to create their own community so that they can have people to rely on, people to talk to. Um, they can have information coming their way on because it's hard to, there's no um, office to go to, to talk to people. There's no, there's nothing. You can't Thank go on so campus. Much. It is up. <laughs> Thank you. All right, next we have Juliana, who is also running for AS Director of uh, Activities. So what made you want to run for that position? Hi again. So what made me run for this position is, bec is because of my background. So my father is a veteran, so I've moved constantly throughout my life. 
I've lived in like five different countries. So the only thing that always kept me going was relationships, you know, and social events. And, and I was forced to get out of my comfort zone. So being AS Directors of Activities, I will be out of my comfort zone. I will do everything to keep the community together, regardless of the different backgrounds that we have. Because as when I started moving to different places, I was feeling lonely. So the only thing that kept me going was that passion for wanting to go out and, and make events so that people can reconnect. And that will be my goal with the SMC community, to reconnect people together and to make an environment where we don't feel lonely, where we have each other. And yes, yeah, so thank you. And that is my reason for running for this position. Great, thank you so much. So moving along to Alejandro, what made you want to run for the position of AS Director of Publicity? Hi again. So one of my uh, approach is that nowadays we're living in a pandemic. So I want to take advantage of all the resources, all the um, social media that we have so, we, so I can create a more efficient way of networking with the students. Uh, in my experience, uh, it was really difficult to get into other students so we can get, have that relation either personal or professional with the school. So I want to make it more efficient, but I want to also make it more safe for the students. Thank you. Great. Uh, Miguel, what made you want to run for the position of AS Director of Publicity? Miguel, you're muted. Thank you so much for that. So I wanted to continue to build up from the previous successes of the current administration. I also want to streamline content production in order to create an accessible design solutions that communicates everything that's going on uh, behind the scenes to SMC students. I want to continue to maintain that welcoming atmosphere as long as, as well as strengthen the, communi the communication that is uh, encouraging student participation in programs and activities. So my main goal, all in all, is to keep all the good vibes going. Great, thank you so much. So we also have Brandon who has just joined the call, who is also running for AS Director of Publicity. So Brandon, um, what made you wanna run for that position? Okay, hello everybody today. Um, for me, it's, just, it's a really great experience to have been with you guys. So I'm running this because uh, back 2018, I was starting my classes in SNC. I didn't speak any English. I didn't speak, I didn't write English or nothing like that. So, but when I started in SNC, I learned English so fast and quickly, and I was able to, uh, to get resources to improve my life to the next level. So I think the reason why I'm running is because I wanna help others. So if I could make it, if I could change my life, I think others can make it. That's my goal. And what is the point of the life if, you, if you're if you growing as a person, but you can help others. So that's my goal as a, as a director of publicity. Get the result for all other people. And yeah, I think that's the main reason. And the, and the second reason is because with all the experience that I have, I have been getting the, the past years, I can make it, I can make it happen. So thank you so much. Great, thank you. And then finally, um, Alexandra, who is running for AS Director of Sustainability, what made you wanna run for that position? Yes, thank you. Um, I'm a lifelong volunteer. I love to give back. And I believe I have the experience needed from my years researching and implementing into my daily life best sustainability practices to further the good work SMC is doing when it comes to battling climate change. Great, thank you so much. All right, for the next question, we are going to be asking about the goals you hope to achieve in the position that you are running for. So again, starting with um, Ali, what goals do you hope to achieve uh, with the position of student trustee? Um, I intend on bettering, not just bettering, sorry. Uh, I intend on advancing the social climate. I want to make it so um, people are able to better um, turn are able to turn towards a more progressive lighting um i i want to make sure that um as a social progressive society we are doing exactly that and continuing to advance as not just individuals but as a community 
And um, I hope that student trustee will be, be, me being a student trustee will be able to accomplish this. Great, thank you so much. Okay, Felix, what goals do you hope to achieve um, as secretary for AS? Okay, thank you. So as a secretary, I will uh, shoulder the responsibility of the service and the communications as a bridge between the school and the, the international students. So let the international students, uh, their voice and ideas uh, are often um, you know, impeachable and then um, approachable and also realized. Um, so I think, uh, I hope in my uh, tender, I will uh, bring more possibility to the uh, AS and uh, uh, let the whole international student uh, community in SMC will be the uh, great. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, David, uh, what goals do you hope to achieve as AS Director of Budget Management? Hi. So I believe efficiency and productivity is really important in our daily lives because it helps us get achieved things done. And as Socrates also believe that happiness is doing things efficiently, I plan on creating budget analysis um, for uh, the SMC so that I could better perform um, allocating the right resources for student clubs and kind of promote during this pandemic uh, more programs and things that are available for the students that they're not taking in charge of. And just allocating our resources to its fullest potential will be my main priority. Thank you. Great, thank you. Uh, moving along to Melissa, what goals do you hope to achieve for uh, AS Director of Student Outreach? I, I want to promote the, the events that we have right now, the resources that we have right now, but some things that I feel like would be created. I wanna like give hotspots to students, things like that. I know the internet costs around $50 a month. I know some of us can't afford that. And it's been tough. The bills are, there's no jobs. There's nothing like that right now. People are, they either eat or internet. And I wanna do like hotspots hot spots for the student. I want to maybe give out earphones, headphones, because I know sometimes we live in small apartments. We have siblings, we have kids, and it's noisy. Like, we need to cancel that out and concentrate on our homework. I want to create workshops that talk about the things that are going on right now, the Asian hate, Black Lives Matter. I want to have workshops where students could be there and talk and have a safe place and things like that. And I have more ideas with that. And I hope you guys could vote for me. Great, thank you so much, Melissa. Uh, moving along to Kamiko, uh, what goals do you hope to achieve as AS Director of Student Ad Advocacy? Well, my number one goal is to eradicate Proctorio from Santa Monica College because of the discriminatory practices that it promotes and continues to do. Number two, I would like to bridge a strong relationship with students and professors. Number three, I would like to also provide students with resources that are needed. Four, I would continue to advocate and represent the student voice and make sure that Santa Monica College is student-centered. And that starts with policy reform. Thank you. Great, thank you so much. So Daniel has also joined the call and uh, they are also running for AS Director of Student Advocacy. So Daniel, what goals do you hope to achieve with this position? So hi guys, my name is Daniel and I'm a economics slash business administration major and a student advocacy, I'm running for student advocacy. And um, some of my goals are to um, bring organizations like um, Black Lives Matter and uh, stop AAPI hate onto campus and um, yeah. Great, thank you so much. Amalia, uh, what goals do you hope to achieve with AS Director of Activities? Um, so as of right now, I plan to have an increase of like remote activities that are centered around um, the students and then also like the type of month that it is, like such as now it's Women's Month, maybe have like a woman empowerment um, activity that has like speakers and panels and stuff like that. And then also just like fun activities such as hosting like maybe game nights or even um, like hide and seek on Minecraft, stuff like that, I feel like would be really cool. And just to um, promote like more activities that help 
bring people into communities and also promoting clubs. I just want to um, increase that so that people can have like more interactions with people, especially during quarantine, especially when we're in this um, remote space where there's no one um, really there to talk to, we could at least have a community and increase um, activities. Thank you. Great, thank you so much. Uh, Juliana, what goals do you hope to achieve as AS Director of Activities? So my main goal is to bring the SMC community together in a very significant way. And to do that, I, I have a, pro a personal project of my own, which is COVID reconnecting event, because I feel that now we're in a moment that a lot of people are having mel um, mental issues. Even me, I'm thinking like, oh, is someone going through what I'm going through? And I think that we're all going through the same thing right now and we need to support each other. So I'm trying to coordinate events that we will be able to talk to each other and, and share our experiences in this pandemic. And I'll try to, provo to provide certain TED Talks so that we could all connect and learn many new things because I think that learning is really important, especially, especially in our college experience. I don't think we should learn only from a classroom. I think we can learn from a conversation or certain events. And I'll also try to do many fun events, battle of bands, craft work, workshops. So a lot of things that can bring our community together, but never forgetting the tr truth. And the most important thing is that we have to have each other and to reconnect in fun ways. And Great. thank and you so much. Your minute is up. All <laughs> right, moving on to Alejandro. Um, what goals do you have or hope to achieve in the position of AS Director of Publicity? As I mentioned before, my duties as a Director of Publicity, I want to increase the networking between students without a major distinction. I want to promote the SMC students' arts with a, with a purpose of being more exposure. exposure I'm sorry. Uh, I also want to utilize the, all, all the media tools to inform the students about the current AES programs and, and events in a more enjoyable and more communicative way. And, uh, and finally, I want to make a more uh, cultural uh, uh, emphasis on the students' art, whether they are from the United States or international. Thank you. Great, thank you so much. Uh, Miguel, what goals do you hope to achieve as AS Director of Publicity? So I really love that question and I love the answers that people have been giving. And as Director of Publicity, my one focus would be communicating opportunities and resources for students to participate in. That has been a priority that I have done through as the design lead commissioner and also being the design director for the peer navigators. Right now, my em emphasis, as many people have mentioned, is engagement first, get people to be a part of these programs. And I think the amazing stories that people have is just proof of concept that we just need to get that word out. And from my previous achievements, I know I can do that. Thank you so much. Great, thank you. Passing along to Brandon, uh, what goals do you hope to achieve as AS Director of Publicity? Okay, so my 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 goal number one is connect with all the all of you guys and the people will be elected. Like for example, the president, um, the director of outreach, as an assistant. So I want to work with you guys and all the ideas that you have. I will make it happen graphic with graphics, illustration, videos, reels, TikTok. I want to work together. And I think can, can this happen in that way? Because I mean, people can have great ideas, but if they don't know how to express it, maybe the idea might not work. So once, if I had this opportunity, um, I wanna work with that. That's my, my goal number one. My second, my second goal, goal is um, have this interaction between all the students, work with you, um, engagement, like, my, like Miguel said, is something that I'm working to. Uh, also, I want to I wanna improve the, the Instagram, I want to come back, I mean, I want to bring back Twitter, all the social media, I want to connect it and make platforms that all the students can work. Thank you so much. Great, thank you, Brandon. And finally, Alexandra, uh, what goals do you hope to achieve as AS Director of Sustainability? Yes, um, I have a few current goals. Um, I hope to improve sustainability outreach to students. Santa Monica College should be fully aware that SMC is a leader among community colleges in the fight against climate change. And I hope in knowing that, that would empower students to do more. 
Um, also cleaning and washing supplies. I hope to do an investigative deep dive into the chemicals that SMC uses for um, hand soap, janitorial cleaning products, reducing waste and emissions um, is only part of the climate change equation. We must also use cleaning, non-toxic cleaning supplies and body supplies if we want, um, if we wish to be well-rounded fighters in the fight against climate change. Great, thank you so much. So for our next question is, how do you feel the associate students can improve for the 2021-2022 academic school year? So starting with Ali. Um, I think in order to improve for the, what the student body can improve on in order to, uh, sorry, I forgot the question, I'm sorry. <laughs> You are fine. Um, how do you feel the associate students can improve for the 2021-2022 academic school year? Okay, I think they can improve for the 2021-2022 school year by um, just overall becoming more progressive. Um, I don't think there's any, any one individual that isn't too progressive. Um, I think in order as a society to grow and develop uh, we all need to have some element of progressiveness within us. Um, I think if there's more advocacy within POC groups, LGBT groups, um, religious groups, et cetera, then I think this goal can be accomplished and could be accomplished. And I think um, this is one of the many ways that the student body could improve on if they have their central focus on this. Um, uh, on top of um, development of SMC and um, the society, not the society, various communities and, and whatnot. Great, thank you so much. Moving on to Felix, uh, how do you feel the associate students can approve for the 2021-2022 academic school year? Um, I think that will be very challenging for, because um, as we all know, maybe uh, in the 2021, I mean, fall and the 2022, uh, spring or summer, uh, I think all our online class will be ending. That will be very great. So we will move to the um, in person. Uh, so everything, I think we have to starting again. So I think that will be very challengeful, but as a AS member, um, as a AS secretary and all of the member, we will work together to through all of this. Um, as the Anne mentioned, some um, a program and some um, groups we will focus on that and that's we uh, that's our priority um, in here thank you great thank you so much moving on to david how do you feel the associate students can improve for the 2021 2022 academic school year i believe that the ace board of directors uh, work a lot behind the scenes to promote the welfare of students as well as offer students programs for to better achieve their goals. Um, I plan, I think the most important thing for the student government to do again is to spread awareness during this pandemic because there's so many programs as other candidates have stated that people are not utilizing efficiently. So most likely it will be to um, battle, battle that challenge that we have of not being able to spread the message to everyone. Thanks. Great, thank you so much. Moving on to Melissa, uh, how do you feel the associate students can improve for the 2021-2022 academic school year? Hi again, I think some of the goals I plan on doing, I feel like that's really important in order for the students to be success successful. I feel like, like the internet crashes to a lot of us. I don't know if everyone has experienced it, but you have to wait on it. I think hotspots for the students will be really beneficial, I believe, um, that I don't know if all students know that you could loan a Chromebook at SMC, taking those resources and going to borrow it. Um, I want to promote a more inclusive, um, inclusive environment and make them aware of the things that we we can offer to them and building workshops for them to so they they are good of their mental health. I know right now. Mental health has been really hard for a lot of us. So talking to each other and building up and making like a group that will really help out the students. 
Great, thank you so much. Uh, moving on to Kamiko, uh, how do you feel the associated students can improve for the 2021-2022 academic school year? Kamiko, you're muted. We, um, AS has a surplus of funding at this point, and I think it should be spent on the students as far as 24 hour tutoring services, as well as technology support, book vouchers, hotspots, computers that students get to keep, not just borrow. We as students put a lot of money into Santa Monica, Santa Monica College, and we should be able to get resources back to aid in student success. Great, thank you so much. Uh, Daniel, how do you feel the associated students can improve for the 2021-2022 academic school year? Um, they can um, probably bring um, more support groups. Um, like, I just wanna make sure that um, students aren't just getting like emails saying, oh, like Santa Monica stands by this. Um, I want to see more like concrete stuff that um, students can um, engage with and really feel supported. Great, thank you so much. Amalia, um, how do you feel the associate students can improve for the 2021-2022 academic school year? Um, one way I feel like they can improve is because um, since they were pushed this school year um, mostly into going into a remote environment, I feel like the uh, knowledge that has been gained this past year can be implemented again back into next year in the sense of um, um, how to learn and how to include more people remotely and um, have a safe environment, not forcing people to leave when they don't need to, um, just improving overall um, in the sense of like safety and um, in the sense of everyone being safe and not like exposing themselves. And um, I think that's one way they can improve by making, using their knowledge that they've gained by being, in, by being pushed into sadly this quarantine and using it just to improve overall like um, student like health and then student like involvement, student enrichment, all that. Great, thank you so much. Uh, Juliana, how do you feel the associate students can improve for the 2021-2022 academic school year? I think that the associated students can improve because we're gonna be representing the students' voices after quarantine and after the pandemic. So I think it's gonna be a really challenging time that we need to step up and we need to remind ourselves that everyone has been through a really difficult year. You know, someone has lost someone or someone is going through something. So I think that we're gonna be the voices for those students. I mean, that's our goal. We're representing students. And I think that we can improve because we know what we've been through in the online environment, especially for international students, how hard it is to do classes at 3 a.m. when you're a thousand miles away. So I think that we've learned so many things that we can put it into action when we go back in person. And I think it's gonna be life-changing because we don't even know how much we have learned from the remote envir environment and from COVID until now. So yeah, thank you. Great, thank you so much. And Lee has just joined us, who is also running for AS Director of Activities. So Lee, how do you feel the associate students can improve for the 2021-2022 academic school year? Um, so uh, for me, I think that um, um, we can um, have the new idea as um, for the next term, uh, people are expected to uh, be back on campus. So I think, um, all of the events and um, all the support for the student will be different than uh, things that happened in the past. So the idea that um, all of the people in here uh, bringing to uh, the SMC community uh, will help a uh, student to um, have the uh, like the energy to be back on campus. Yeah, and this is my idea. Great, thank, thank you. you so much. All right, Alejandro, uh, how do you feel the associate students can improve for the 2021-2022 academic school year? I personally think that the student, the student body uh, government is doing a really good job, but I think we can, uh, we can at least improve a little bit more. I really want that um, it can be more inclusive and diverse 
but also I want to be, uh, I want to, oh, I would like to be that the student government be more visible, that this, uh, we can take advantage of the resources and we can make it make them more visible for the students. And also I really want that uh, it will be more sensible uh, or sensitive, sensitive, I'm sorry, sensitive. So the students can uh, rely on the school and rely on the, or the people that are representing them. Thank you. Great, thank you so much. Uh, Miguel, how do you feel the associate students can improve for the 2021-2022 academic school year? Awesome, I really love that question. So in terms of improvement, I believe in growth in engagement first. And part of the Peer Navigators program, working collaboratively in an official capacity, we're already implementing this idea of content with an idea of serving students first, workshops and creating this dynamic group in order to help as many students take advantage of the opportunities the school has. So by actualizing these concepts of improvement, I'm already gaining the experience of engagement first, and I want to continue to focus on growing that. Thank you so much. Great, thank you. Uh, Brandon, how do you feel the associated students can improve for the 2021-2022 academic school year? Okay, so first of all, I wanna say thank you because I think uh, the associate student has been doing an amazing job for the past year. So, but however, I think there is a lot of for improvement, you know? So I think we need to move to the digital era, which means what about Clubhouse? We can create a Clubhouse and have this connection to all these students, not, not, I mean, international, Asians, Black, Brown, Latins, everyone being connected. And if I had this resource, why don't do, why, when, why can I share with the other ones? Also, I think it's really important that the new generation for 2021 and 2022, we need to commit ourselves and be responsible and be ready to pay the price to represent all the students. Also, I wanna, um, I, I want, I want the all the team that we will be work to air. We we should explore, explore more the students. Thank you so much. Great, thank you. And finally, Alexandra, how do you feel the associate students can improve for the 2021-2022 academic school year? Yes, um, obviously, this last year has wreaked havoc on all of us, and there's a collective grief that needs to be healed. Um, I think it's incredibly important for the student body to increase support, um, treat us all with extra care, extra mental health services, disability services, tutor support. Um, also, I think we need to implement stringent COVID protocols going back on campus, um, as well as this extra support. So the students at SMC are, are among the safest and healthiest and supported in Los Angeles. Great, for our next question, equity is one of the key focuses of the institution. With that in mind, how would you approach your position with an equity lens and how would you make sure the associated students are focused on equity for all students at SMC? So Ali, go ahead and take it away. Um, so in regards to equity, I think we first need to establish a better understanding of um, ourselves and where we stand in this level of equity, um, whether or not you're um, up to par to um, social equity or progressive equity. I think that's also important. Um, for example, sorry, it's kind of complicated what I'm saying. Um, Black Lives Matter. Um, with Black Lives Matter, it's, it's um, an organization that is constantly fighting in order to establish this equity. And um, it, it, it came from an understanding of where the individuals came from and where they currently stand. And I think for people to um, be on this level of equity, we need to first understand it and fight with it. Um, and yeah. Thank you so much. Felix, how would you approach your position with an equity lens and how would you make sure the associated students are focused on equity for all students at SMC? Okay, thank you. Um, I think, um, uh, in SMC, we have a lot of club and also the organization and then every time like a uh, things, this equity um, things or the uh, injustice or the discrimination, 
discrimination things happens, SMC will respond very quickly. So as a, um, we as a, a rep represent the student governments, so I think we have to uh, use, the stu use the school uh, resource and uh, to help the students to uh, let them know uh, they are not alone. Um, as we all know uh, recently, the Black Lives Matter and the Stop uh, Asian Hate. So um, I think uh, we probably have to do something and also use the school resource to help all of the students in the campus to protect them and also let them know they didn't be alone. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. All right, David, how would you approach your position with an equity lens and how would you make sure the associated students are focused on equity for all students at SMC? Thank you. Uh, I believe that education is the most important thing in regards to fixing equity. Um, so I think promoting movements and moving towards a place where everybody is not discriminated against would be the, our key that would be the most ideal place but that i if that's not possible then for the associated students should do anything they can in their powers and use their resources to promote um, the, those or workshops that we offer as well as other programs that students could be involved with to make sure they have a say in what they believe in thanks great thank you so much melissa how would you approach your position with an equity lens and how would you make sure the associated students are focused on equity for all students at smc i know these are hard times there's so much hate in the world right now and but it's hard topics that we need to discuss we need to talk about them there's no way they're going to go away magically we need to discuss these topics and have a safe place for the students to be there um um, for example, I know that the, the school is with us, but I want to know what what are they doing for like all these. I know that there has been a lot of Asian hate, the Black Life Black Lives Matter movement. How are they um, supporting that? How are they supporting the street vendors that are getting hit, that are getting killed? I want to know like what they're gonna do and make sure that the students know that SMT is a safe place for them and that they will never be judged or that they will always be safe there. Thank you. Great, thank you so much. Kamiko, how would you approach your position with an equity lens and how would you make sure the associated students are focused on equity for all students at SMC? It starts with Proctorio. Proctorio itself is an inequitable software. Um, Santa Monica College claims that they're equity minded, but the administration allowed this software program on our campus. Jennifer Murlock, the vice president of academic affairs herself at a board of trustees meeting stated that the facial recognition software favors Caucasians over other races. So my goal is to remove that software program and any other inequities that are on our campus. Thank you. Thank you so much, Daniel. Uh, how would you approach your position with an equity lens and how would you make sure associated students are focused on equity for all students at SMC? Um, well, I would like to work with um, organizations, like I mentioned before, uh, Black Lives Matter and uh, Stop AAPI Hate and use them as a like a to guide us to um, make sure that we're doing the right things and maybe um, provide us with that insight of trends that we've been seeing um, in schools that they think we can um, we can implement some things that could change change that and by creating polls and open forums to hear students out and really get a feel for the the environment or um, how students feel on campus or outside of campus. Great, thank you so much. Amalia, how would you approach your position with an equity lens and how would you make sure the associated students are focused on equity for all students at SMC? Um, I would say I would have to agree a lot with David. It does start with education in the sense of um, a lot of us aren't taught um, cultural and also the actual historical facts of what people of color went through. And um, I think it just starts with education in the sense of we should do workshops and events that glorify and um, empower people of color and talk about the actual history that people went through 
um, explain what privilege is, explain how um, privilege takes into a lot of accounts in um, bridging um, systemic racism. And we need to um, find a system where we can dismantle that and not have systemic racism, racism anymore. And just especially just empower um, our people of color and then also just needs that they all um, desire, especially in this time of quarantine, when a lot of things cannot um, be accessible, especially to people of color, um, just to um, amplify their voices. Great, thank you so much. Juliana, uh, how would you approach your position with an equity lens and how would you make sure the associate students are focused on equity for all students at SMC? I would approach the equity lens with my position in a way that I will try to make and I will do events and things that will bring different cultures together. Because as I said, with my background, I saw how important it is and how it's important, how there are many amazing cultures that we can learn from them. And I think that that should be implemented more on campus. And it's always what I say um, about education. I think that education now in our college life is gonna be what determines who we are in the future. So if we don't implement the importance of difference in cultures and how no one should be treated differently and how diversity is important for a better life and a better place, I think that then we're doing something wrong. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to implement many events that will bring our coach, all culture to, together and with the different backgrounds that we have at SMC. So yeah, diversity is everything. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Lee, how would you approach your position with an equity lens and how would you make sure the associated students are focused on equity for all students at SMC? Um, for me, uh, from my perspective, uh, I think SMC is like an amazing place because um, of the diversity of students coming from different places in the world. Um, and from that, uh, equality and diversity or multiculturalism is the idea of promoting and accepting the, the difference between people. Um, so um, most, uh, more specifically, um, equality is about like ensuring individuals are treated fairly and equally no matter their race, gender, age, um, accessibility, uh, religions, or sexual orientations. Um, so um, I believe um, the main, uh, the main, uh, the main important factor is um, people being treated equally. Um, no one like uh, want to be uh, treated differently or have something bias about their race or something like that. So I, I would um, try to hold more events uh, to help people understand more uh, about the importance of um, being treated uh, fairly. And um, also um, I have the idea that um, for the holiday of, uh, for the holiday of other, <laughs> other race. Thank uh, you. We're, we're gonna be moving on now to Alejandro. Um, how would you approach your position with an equity lens and how would you make sure the associated students are focused on equity for all students at SMC? I think that in, in order that the AS uh, government be more uh, practicing the equity, I think it's important to specify what the, the students needs. What do they need? Um, as a part of my job or my as a director of publicity, I really want to know which resources they can be benefit from, or how can I help them. So I want to make a uh, I want to provide a cultural and social uh, emphasis. Uh, we can uh, me as a part of the LGBTQ community and as a Latino, I think it's important that uh, this emphasis can help these students, and with this, we can create awareness on minorities. Thank you. Thank you so much. Miguel, how would you approach your position with an equity lens and how would you make sure the associate students are focused on equity for all students at SMC? Thank you so much for the question. I think this is a really important uh, question that we should all answer. And I believe not only from personal experience, uh, but just the student within this panel, it shows that there is no average student. So from my personal experience, I've been able to have an in-class opportunity in my design research class to create actionable ideas. And not only coming from the student equity center, but also focusing on accessibility first for SMC GPS. 
we, I've been able to pitch ideas to faculty and I've been able to gain positive responses. So this mindset allows me to interview students, get critical feedback and make actionable decisions that correlate with student growth and engagement. Thank you so much. Great, thank you. Brandon, how would you approach your position with an equity lens and how would you make sure the associate students are focused on equity for all students at SMC? Okay, so I think the most important part of this is respect education. We need to conscientize everyone that everybody needs to respect, no matter what color, no matter what, what, where you're from, no matter what, anything. Because everybody, we are human beings and we need to focus also in the, in the group of people that they're most affected in this moment, for example, Ashan. We need to stop that. That's not acceptable in this, in, in this world, in these times. So as a director of publicity, I just want to use all the resources that will have available for me and help to express, express create post creating graphic illustration that educate people to learn what happened in the past, what is happening now, to learn to forgive and also don't forget what happened to improve and get better together. So thank you so much. Great, thank you. And finally, Alexandra, how would you approach your position with an equity lens and how would you make sure associate students are focused on equity for all students at SMC? Yes, I believe we should teach students the importance of equity through mandated workshops that offer extra credit. Um, all voices deserve to be heard and valued. And as a representative of the students, it would be my job to be fair and balanced in all decisions made. Great, thank you so much. So now we do have time for a question from one of the students at SMC. And the question is, how would you describe your leadership style? So starting with Ali, how would you describe your leadership style? I think my leadership style is very straightforward. Um, I value camaraderie um, highly. I've been very involved within other extracurriculars that were centered around leadership and camaraderie. And um, the value, valuing your team is like the first step of leadership. And I think as a student body, I think student body is a team. Um, and in order to be a good, efficient leader, you have to work with your team, um, acknowledge faults, acknowledge who's going to be better at this, who's going to be better at that, and um, work together in, in order to rectify any situation or um, reform any situation or um, better any situation. Great. Thank you so much. Felix, how would you describe your leadership style? Um, that's that is a very good question. Things like uh, I'm right now preparing the um, a PBL competition, which is the business competition. So that's uh, so sorry I mentioned that. Like uh, this year, we have to uh, the topic is uh, like called the transformational leadership. So I think as we all know, if we uh, contact and uh, communicate with the students and other members with the respect and empathy, then the seemingly impossible the things will eventually come true. So, so for, as a secretary, I will use my the respect and the empathy and also uh, the service and uh, the dedication to help the students and the other members to improve uh, the whole SMC student uh, community and to let them uh, have the immersive the college life. Thank you. Thank you so much. David, how would you describe your leadership style? My leadership style is pretty much like goal oriented. Uh, I used to be quite stubborn and maybe I still am, but over um, the past like couple of years, I've learned that as a leader, you have to learn to accept your flaws. And from those flaws, you have to learn from them and then become better. Um, so pretty basic. If I have a goal, I'll do anything I can to achieve that goal. So yeah, that's pretty much, it's, it's that simple. Thanks. Great. Melissa, how would you describe your leadership style? I would describe it, I feel like I'm really open-minded and I respect everybody's culture, religion, and beliefs. I will respect what um, your beliefs. I will not judge anybody. I will always be there if anybody wants to talk. 
and I'm always willing to learn from my mistakes. I'm a human. I know I'm on my mistakes in, in the way, but I am willing to learn from them and improve. And I want to stand up for other people, the other students, what they need, their voices. And I want to advocate for what it, whatever they need. I'll be there. And I feel like that's my son. Thank you. Thank you so much. Kamiko, how would you describe your leadership style? My leadership style is hands-on, getting in with the students and finding out what their needs are and what they want. We can make assumptions all day long about the needs of students, but we need to go to the source. And the source is the students. If I'm elected, I will not only listen, but I would advocate for them. My email is always open. So if you want someone that's not only gonna listen to you and advocate for you, vote Kamiko Graham for AS Director of Advocacy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Daniel, how would you describe your leadership style? Um, I would describe it as like um, very open. So I'm willing to listen to others. And I think that's uh, my strong point because I, I listen very closely and I make sure that the person is being heard. And I think that that's a very, um, very useful when we would be having meetings because um, I wouldn't just be um, speaking my opinion. I would be making sure that um, like we're working together as a team and making sure we're getting th things done. Great, thank you so much. Amalia, how would you describe your leadership style? Um, I think I am a very pers um, easy person to talk to. And also um, I'm very consistent and I'm consistent with my work and um, the things that I want to do and accomplish. And I feel like... Um, that can just give the effect and rub off on other people and um, allow them to have confidence in themselves and what they want to do in their voices and um, different things that just like their goals. And I feel like I'm just a person who rubs off on others. And um, I just like want to be there for people and um, like have the sense of um, a leadership position where I can just help others. Great, thank you so much. Juliana, how would you describe your leadership style? I would describe my leadership style as a very receptive and just a fair person. Whenever I'm leading with leadership, um, I'm not thinking about like, oh, you're in charge. You're not, you're learning. You know, everyone learns from everyone all the time. You know, and I think that it's so important that you, you value your teammates and the people that you're leading, you know, because you should be inspiring people and that will be my goal to inspire people and let them know that I'm here you know I'm super reachable so if anyone wants to be like hey I have an idea for an event that would be really cool for my culture I will be there you know I will try to make it happen and I will make it happen because I think that leadership is about learning also from your mistakes because I know I'm not perfect no one is and I think that we reach perfect when we accept our flaws you know, and I think that's super important in a leadership experience. And I'll just be there for the students. If they want a certain event or anything, I will be there. So thank you. Great. Thank you so much. Lee, how would you describe your leadership style? Um, for me, I would describe it as um, I'm really care to uh, the people concerned. So and I'm really uh, responsible. So uh, when people uh, want to reach out me or uh, have any concern, I always be there for them. And also I believe uh, passion, enthusiasm and characteristic is also the uh, important integrity for um, a leader. And also understand the true value of being a leader is also important because uh, being a leader is just uh, sits there and try to um, try to let people see your power, but also you need to perform your true uh, true uh, performance. Um, that's how you can do for uh, your team and what you're going to lead. Yeah, thank you. Great. Thank you so much. Alejandro, how would you describe your leadership style? Well, I think this question is really good because I think that uh, leadership experience, we're uh, gaining it every day. But if I would have to describe my leadership experience, I think, or my style, I think that I am really a really reliable and organ organized person, but also the most important is that I'm really comprehensive. I know how hard is team collaboration and I know how important it is. So I want to be the person that 
not just the students, that everyone in general can reach and can try to um, try to, to uh, believe or like have the confidence in me because I want to help you. I want to help you and or, or at least I want to try to help or figure out what's your problem. Thank you. Great, thank you so much. Miguel, how would you describe your leadership style? Awesome. So this was the question I had to think about for a bit. And for me, first and foremost with the group, we have to agree on a common goal. I want the entire team to feel like it, there's a conscientious atmosphere that allows harmony to create a safe environment where everyone is welcome to share their thoughts without judgment, allowing the best ideas to flow. I take action first, do the work, while also giving my peers the responsibility and opportunity to be their own leaders by providing them their own projects. I believe that's the best way to describe my leadership. Thank you so much. Great, thank you. Brandon, how would you describe your leadership style? Okay, so my leadership, my leadership style is like, I'm always here. I, I will always be there for you guys. And if you need anything, just reach me out. Um, for example, in, in the class, when I, we had group projects, I'm just trying to make sure that everybody's learning, everybody's doing the, everybody's doing um, the, the team for they will good grace. Um, also having part of the nonprofit organization, this helped me to learn how to be a better team player. It's not about who is, who is the leader, who is the boss. It's matter that we are working as a team, as a family. This is really important um, aspect that I consider I can improve working with you guys. So I'm very open, I'm very, uh, I'm very reachable. Anything, anything that you need, uh, let me know. I promise that I will help you. If I can't help you, I will find somebody who can help you. Thank you so much. Great, thank you. Alexandra, how would you describe your leadership style? Yes, thank you. Um, I spent four years as a development director at a nonprofit, and I believe that um, I'm a good motivator and problem solver. Um, I get, I'm hands-on, I'm empathetic, and I try and inspire my team, which is hugely important for a leader. And I believe that all of these qualities um, make me a good leader. And I hope that I can lead in the position of director of sustainability. So thank you. Thank you so much. So with that, that concludes our Associated Students Candidate Forum. So I wanna thank all of the candidates who joined us here today. Uh, I know in this Zoom setting, it's a little weird at times. So it really means a lot that you all took time out of your day to join us. I also wanna thank Ali Leeds, our news editor for the Cursor, who has been organizing uh, this forum and our coverage for the Associated Students, as well as our news team. Um, I also want to remind all students at SMC that voting for associate students begins March 29th at 12 a.m. and will last until April 1st at 11.59 p.m. And students are able to vote using their Coursera Connect account. Um, finally, for more coverage on the associate students, please head to our website, thecourseraonline.com. Again, thank you to our candidates for attending and thank you to all of the SMC students for watching. Uh, that concludes our forum.